shocking to see you stopped in a fight, especially against a guy who's not known as a puncher. What happened? My body is not the same no more. I've been in a lot of wars, and uh, you know what? I think it's time to hang it up, you know? I had a great performance with Timothy Bradley in my career. I'm done. Uh, I, think, uh, I think that's it. You know, it was a great run. It is what it is. I'd like to thank the fans for coming out, supporting this. It's a little under the weather. It's a great show, but fuck it, it is what it is. I don't want to hurt my body. I don't want to hurt my family. I don't want my close friends. Brandon friend. Rios, of all people, has been knocked out. It's fucking bullshit. You know, I was eight months without training and come back in January as fuck. So at the end of the day, you know, when I tried to get back in, my body wasn't reacting the same. So it is what it is. I think it's done for me. I'll pick up the gloves and say, call it a night. Obviously a very emotional moment for you. Thanks for talking. No problem, man. Damn, kind of sad. All right, thanks very much. So there's an unexpected retirement, apparently in the ring by the Brandon Rios um, came into the ring of 170 pounds, that's light heavyweight. He weighed in at 147.2, he got butt naked, still couldn't make weight, and then he went and took a shit, you know, as he said, and um, he made 147, coming into the ring 23 pounds um, over the 147 pound limit, and he looked very soft. In fact, this was the worst shape I actually seen him in. Going into the fight, Timothy Bradley came in at 155 pounds, and to see that Timothy Bradley with only 12 knockouts was able to knock out a Brandon Rios, I have to think, well, is it Teddy Atlas is the reason why um, Timothy Bradley knocked out Brandon Rios? Yes, to a certain extent, I did like the way that Timothy Bradley looks. Timothy Bradley looks like a well, like, put it this way, he looks like a rejuvenated fighter. Um, there was some times where he wasn't on the inside a little too long and, um, in between rounds, Teddy Atlas talking to, um, talking to, um, Timothy Bradley was actually pretty, was, 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 was actually pretty decent. Um, I'm T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. Brandon Rios, just power, in my opinion, just has not carried up to 147 pounds. Yeah, he had the fight with my the um the the fight with Mike Alvarado, his last fight where he knocked Mike Alvarado out. But at the same time, we know that Mike Alvarado was pretty much malnourished and shouldn't have been in that fight in the first place because he was just arrested like a few weeks earlier for getting high on pot or something like that. Um, Timothy Bradley, put it this way. Timothy Bradley still has a ways to go, but this was an improvement over his previous fights. We saw that he's thrown a lot more punches. We saw that he's going to the body more. And more importantly, no, no matter how out of shape Brandon Rios looked, Timothy Bradley scored a knockout. Timothy Bradley hasn't had a knockout since 2011 against Joe Ocasio Moore on the undercard of, um, what was that? Um, Pacquiao versus uh, Marquez 3, I believe that was. So to see him getting a knockout... You know, over a guy where no one, put it this way, no one could have said that Timothy Bradley, no one was predicting that Timothy Bradley was going to knock out a Brandon Rios. And to see of all things that he knocked Brandon Rios, Brandon Rios out by going to the body, I have to ask myself, well, I mean, tell myself, well, Brandon Rios' body was really soft going in its, into there. And also, when you come in rehydrating that much, you know, you're not going to come in looking all buff, basically. Um, where does Brandon Rios go from and where does Brandon Rios go from here? Well, he said he's retiring. I just think that um looking at all the videos that I've seen of Brandon Rios on ESN News, it just seems like those guys are just sitting around doing interviews and not doing too much training, just my personal opinion. And I'm wondering where does a Brandon Rios go from here? He couldn't hurt Timothy Bradley, and in my opinion, in my opinion, Brandon Rios is a better fighter than um then Ruslan Provotnikov, and I thought he would put up a better fight than Ruslan Provotnikov did. Well, no, okay, okay, well, put it this way. I thought that he would have a better chance of beating uh, Timothy Bradley if Timothy Bradley fought the same fight that he fought with Ruslan Provotnikov. But Timothy Bradley had a, a very complete game plan, and he did do what... Um, he did do what Teddy Atlas told him to do. Teddy Atlas would tell him, like, listen, like... um. Like, you know, like, I, I don't mind if you throw the left hook, but don't throw the left hook, like, while you're in exchanges on the inside with him. Like, stuff like that with Timothy Bradley, well, if it was Joel Diaz, would just ignore and just keep going, you know, on the inside, knowing that 
He's not really an inside fighter. But Timothy Bradley was able to move around the ring. He threw a lot of punches. He was uh, very efficient. And, of course, people are going to say, well, it's Brandon Rios. Brandon Rios is somewhat of a stationary target. So, of course, he's going to be... Um, you know, easy to hit. But like I said, you know, can't take nothing away from Timothy Bradley. Timothy Bradley looked good. You know, can Timothy Bradley beat some of the top um, light heavy? I mean, some of the top um, Walter Waits? Yes. You know, but the thing is, with the political landscape, we won't see Timothy Bradley fight certain fighters. So one thing is for sure is that Timothy Bradley has to fight Saddam Ali. Saddam Ali, of all things, should have been on this undercard. So fans could have got a little bit more uh, familiar with who he is. And now Timothy Bradley is going to be making another $2 million or so in what will be his last fight under his top rank contract when he fights Saddam Ali sometime maybe in the spring of uh, 2016. I'm T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. A stoppage of Brandon Rios. Brandon Rios retires. Um, he says his body can't take it no more. He did hint. At the fact that um, he didn't fight since January. He shouldn't have took that much time off. Blame it on his promotional company. Or blame it on you know his manager Cameron Duncan. Whatever the case may be. But they couldn't get him a fight in, in, a, um, in a good period of time. And a guy like Brandon Rios is the type of fighter that should be active. But like I said. Seeing, don't get me wrong. I'm giving all the credit to Timothy Bradley. But seeing um, Brandon Rios getting knocked out. Is just making me think more, more towards. Well. Well, Brandon Rios was out of shape. Then Timothy Bradley is getting, you know, I don't want to take nothing away from Timothy Bradley. I don't. You know, by the way, Ruslan Ravonikov won earlier today with uh, Joel Diaz, the former trainer of Timothy Bradley. I would like to see a Timothy Bradley versus a Ruslan Ravonikov too, you know, depending on, you know, what happens with the Saddam Ali situation, just to throw some fights out there. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live, and I cover every single major fight live. Please subscribe.